Hello, this is Frances Kaplan, Reference and Outreach Librarian at the California Historical Society. Today we are highlighting some beautiful portraits of the Del Valle family, taken at their ranch, Rancho Camulus, in the late 1880s. The ranch was situated in Santa Clara River Valley in today's Ventura County. From the last years of Mexican rule through 1924, this California family were among the most prominent in Southern California. Antonio was the first of the Del Valle family to come to California, arriving with the Spanish army in 1819. In the 1830s, as Alta California was still undergoing a massive period of transition from Spanish to Mexican rule, he was appointed major domo or administrator of Mission San Fernando. In 1839, California's governor granted Antonio over 48,000 acres of land to establish Rancho San Francisco. After Antonio's death in 1841, the land was divided among his second wife and the children from his two marriages. One of them, Ignacio, received the portion of the rancho known as Camulus. Ignacio and his wife Isabel had five children, raising them for a time on Rancho Camulus where they farmed cattle and crops, including grapes that produced wine and brandy. Ignacio held high positions within both the Mexican and American governments, and his son, Reginaldo, followed his father into politics, serving on the California State Assembly and, in 1882, at age 28, becoming the youngest ever president of the California State Senate. And as for the rancho itself? Well, it survived droughts and many other natural disasters, but it could not survive family conflict, and in 1924 it was sold for $300,000. An interesting fact, in 1884, just a few years before many of these portraits were taken, writer Helen Hunt Jackson visited the ranch and became so enchanted with its beauty that she used it as the setting for her famous California romance novel, Ramona. To view these portraits and more, please visit the California Historical Society website and digital library at www.californiahistoricalsociety.org. Thank you for listening.